Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall, continuing on with our lessons in the Math Hammer Basics. So today we're going to take a look at the basic attack profile, which means we need to start with our basic odds on a d6. So our hit, wound, and save rolls are all on a d6. Um, there's also other things like uh, variable uh, amounts of attacks, variable damage, other variable things on a war scroll that are also on a d6. Um, for this purpose, we're just talking about uh, the attack profile specifically, but just know that the d6 odds bit kind of carries over to everything else as well. So you'll see I kind of went through your different odds of a roll, uh, depending on what your uh, hitting or wounding on or saving on. So a two plus is gonna be 83.3% success rate or five sixths. Three plus is 66.6% .6 or two thirds. Four plus 50% one half and so on. You can read them there. Um, you know, whatever you're more comfortable with, whether it's a, a decimal, a percentage, or a fraction, um, they all kind of work. Um, I tend to use the fractions mostly when I'm doing the math out because it actually, like, makes more sense, like, in Excel to think about it as fractions, for me anyway. Um... And it gets you a more precise answer because Excel will just turn a fraction into division. Um, but nevertheless, uh, you know, you can use decimals, you can use percentages, whatever you're most comfortable with. So our basic attack pro profile is going to be the same for shooting and melee. So we have our number of attacks, our roll to hit, our roll to wound our rend characteristic and our damage characteristic. So our basic uh, profile or our basic equation for figuring out what your damage output is, is your attacks times your odds to hit times your odds to wound times your damage. Um, you'll notice that I have left rend out of this for the moment. Uh, I'll talk about rend in, I believe, the next slide. So our example here, we have two attacks, four up to hit, three up to wound, no rend, one damage. Basic liberator attack profile. So that is two times one half times two thirds, which is the three up, times one damage equals two thirds of a damage on average. All of this, remember, this is coming up with your average. So your with um, two uh, an attack with two attacks, you can get zero, one, or two damage out of that attack. Your average with a four up, three up is going to be two thirds. So two out of three times, you're going to do one damage. All right, so what do we do with rend? Um, this has a big impact on the formula and it is variable because it depends on what your enemy's save value is. Generally what I do is take the assumption that the enemy save is a four plus. Uh, four plus save is pretty average, pretty standard. Um, it, it's, it's a save that you're going to see very frequently. So it's a good kind of baseline for figuring out uh, how, how you're going to perform. Um, also, conveniently, it uh, lets us factor in rend one, rend two, and rend three. And rend three is the highest rend value in the game currently. And rend three on a four up save takes it to no save exactly. So uh, a four up save as our measuring stick 
uh, lets us factor in all possible rend values. So it just adds another multiplier into the formula. So your two attacks, four to hit, three to wound, rend minus one, one damage. So now we're multiplying the two attacks times the one half to hit, then two thirds to wound. And now the four up save goes to a five up save, which means that two thirds of your attacks are getting through. Only one third is being saved. So we multiply that then by another two thirds or 0 0.666, 66.6%, .6%, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we multiply times our one damage and we come to 0 0.44. Um, for our damage. So that's assuming the four up enemy save, the four up goes to five up, two thirds of the, of the damage are not saved. And the amount that is not getting saved, that is what we want to input here for our multiplier for figuring out uh, what needs to go into the formula. So that is something um, that you really need to be careful with. It's easy to flip that around and put the save value, but it's the inverse of the save value. So here is a pretty basic example, um, just continuing using liberators as our basic example here. Um, and as well, this is gonna be factoring in two separate weapons profiles as well. So we have our four guys with regular hammers and then our Liberator Prime with the Grand Hammer. So we have eight total attacks with a hammer, four up, three up. Um, you multiply all that out, it comes to 1.33333 uh, damage on average. That's assuming a four up save. And then our Grand Hammer, three attacks, also on fours and threes, minus one rend, two damage. So that also comes out to 1.333. So our total average damage against a four up save is going to be 2.66. You'll notice the important math that this really shows to us is that that one guy with a Grand Hammer is equal to the other four guys in the unit combined. So it's really important when you're pulling models out of a unit to leave that grand hammer for the end because he is half your work in that unit. So if you peel other guys off first, you're not losing nearly as much. So that's it on this basic round. Um, we're going to be getting into some more complicated things after this, but I thought this was a pretty good warm up and getting you the basic formula of how all of this works. Uh, so you can kind of see the basic math and then later on we'll get into the more complicated stuff. I've got a whole video on how rerolls affect things um, as well. That is coming up probably next. And that's it for now. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps out the channel. And if you care to support us on Patreon, all of our proceeds go back towards uh, improving the channel content. So find that link down below and I'll see y'all later.